so IoT absolutely is very important, and uh, every everyone that I spoke with today and uh, yesterday, whether it's uh, end users, manufacturers, vendors, this is this is it's not the future; it's happening now. They're investing in a lot of technology to have access to a lot of information. So the challenges that we're asked to address vary uh, depending on where the ports are and what their vision is. But generally it falls into a couple of these categories. So they ask us to improve coverage as they invest in more technology and, and go towards the path of IoT. They want to ensure that there is no loss of data, that they have connectivity with all these mobile devices. And mostly it comes down to the, the uh, fleet that they have that's moving. So whether it's assets such as their employees that need access to Wi-Fi as they're moving, or the trucks, the reach stackers, and RTGs. Um, and to, for your second question in terms of how we've been able to help, so what we offer is a, a network that is, comes with multiple levels of redundancy. So in essence, in a port environment that is very challenging, has a lot of interference, lots of moving parts, we ensure that the data, the video, the Wi-Fi connections that the port requires to be efficient is something they can rely on. And uh, we, we provide ways to ensure that. So our plans actually echo with a lot of the feedback that we're receiving from our end users and our partners. So a lot of the, 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 the summary of it becomes that as, as the ports and end users invest in more technology, they're going down the path of drones, automation, semi-automation, and their, their feedback is helping us to deliver different models of the Regent breadcrumb that is, that is available today and is being used by ports around the world. So we're offering different flavors and different features that address safety um, asset, asset control.